The Substance is a new body horror film directed by Coralie For Forget. I, I don't really know how to say her name all that well, but she directed Revenge, which came out in 2017, which is a movie that a lot of people have a lot of love for. It is a bit contentious. I have not seen it, but I do know a lot of people who really like that movie and really like the style that was put forth by this director. Um, I heard a lot of hype coming out of this, obviously, for winning uh, the Best Screenplay Award at Cannes, I believe, and then uh, other reviewers were giving it praise when it came out then, um, and I, I don't know, it looked really, really great. I saw the trailer for it, um, I think, when Long Legs came out, so I've been amped for this movie for quite a while, and I'm happy to share that it absolutely delivers on being the probably the year's weirdest and most unique film. And when I say weirdest, I mean that as an, uh, the utmost uh, compliment. It is such a bizarre film. It, it sucks you into this very plasticky, very, um, I don't know, like 90s music video inspired uh, world, and it keeps you there for its entire runtime, and it slowly takes away the gloss. It slowly takes away the... Um, the aesthetic of everything and, and introduces you into the absolute horrors that this film has to offer and I think it does it in such a way that is again so unique and so unlike anything I've ever seen before while also delivering a message that is you know universal and I think needs to be um, echoed even more so than it is message being that uh, the way that Hollywood uh, particularly treats women, especially older women, um, and the beauty standards is it holds them to. A lot of people are saying that the message here is very on the nose, but I think that was super intentional, and I think it was meant to be shoved in your face and uh, unrelented the entire runtime of the movie, and I think that really works. I think that if they went for a more subtle approach, it wouldn't match the kind of, I don't know, otherworldliness of this movie. You really do feel like you're entering a different dimension with um, the substance. I think that, you know, from the dialogue, from the way everything looks, from the way it's shot, especially in the way it's edited, again, it feels so plastic and, and, and intentionally fabricated, and it feels like those, those fabricated walls are just slowly closing in on everybody that inhibits this story. And I think, I don't know, I really enjoy um, movies that do that and really pay attention to its world building, really pay attention to its setting, paying attention to, you know, where they place these characters during these events. It's a movie that it can be hard to wrap your head around at times. Um, it is very cold, it is very um, withdrawn at times, but it is also very in your face. Uh, I think that both of the lead actresses whose names are escaping me at the moment, I know one of them is Marco Qualley, I don't know the older actress's name, they were both fantastic and I think portraying two sides of, the, of this coin, this push and pull. I'm not going to spoil exactly what it is, which is kind of obvious once you know you get into the movie. Um, I just think that they both portray that, uh, both you know, the ends of the spectrum with uh, this issue in a way that, um, I don't know, feels very thoughtful and feels, um, for as horrific as this movie is, very tender, almost. I really have to commend the uh, practical effects in this movie. I think they were very well done, very uh, Cronenberg-inspired. This entire movie feels very Cronenberg-inspired, but in a very modern way, in a way that I don't think Cronenberg would ever tackle, because I am honestly not the biggest fan of his movies. I, like, I, I understand their merit, and I, they're good movies. I just don't particularly like his cold style and his overly, I don't know, um, waves of depression over and over again. I, I don't know, it's not really my thing. Uh, with this movie, I think it takes that approach, it takes that influence, and, and, and serves it up in a much more stylistic and, um, again, oddball approach that I definitely appreciate way more. I don't really have too much to complain about here. This is a really excellent body horror slash sci-fi film that explores themes that, yes, are very obvious, yes, you know, have been said before, but in a way that has never you know, it, it has never been done before in a way that feels unique and fresh. Um, again, I the performances are all fantastic in this. Um, I think that the visuals are incredible. I think that uh, Coralie Forget uh, has a real bright future ahead of her, especially if she decides to delve more into the horror genre, like with this movie. 
Um, it's definitely a standout for the year for me. I, I honestly ended up really loving the substance. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have any flaws. It's, it's, uh, so I'm gonna give the substance a really strong four and a half out of five. I really did love it. Definitely one of my favorites of the year. It didn't get a, quite a five just because I feel like, I don't know, uh, again, body horror really isn't my thing. And, and, and I don't know if it went, you know, that extra, extra, extra mile for me to be like, this is one of my favorite movies, period. But I do think it is an absolute standout of, the, uh, standout of this year. I think it is a um, standout of the decade. This is a really great movie. And I think that um, if you're into this kind of thing, you know, definitely go see it and support this movie. So uh, that is my review for The Substance. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you with the next video.